Hello, this is Terrell Pauly, and in today's video, I'd like to show you how to actually utilize the DCM uh, Diacom Dump utility from the Diacom Toolkit in order to view and display Diacom tags. Now, why is this helpful? Helpful because th this is helpful if um, if you are you you actually need to look at the contents of a uh, Diacom file. The if you look need to review certain Diacom tags for troubleshooting and uh, so uh, the the Diacom dump can be useful to display those Diacom tags um, private tags whatever whatever is sent over with it uh, that's inside of the inside of the Diacom file now you can actually use the your uh, if you have the authentic Diacom server which we've uh, went over and and, and previous videos that the, the your authentic Diacom server if you have it installed can also be used to display Diacom tags in the GUI format which is um uh which is very useful but this is for if you don't if you're not using authentic Diacom server you don't have another sort of software application or program to display Diacom tags you can use the uh Diacom dump utility from the Diacom toolkit and in today's video I'm going to show you how to do it so let's go ahead and get started so I'm gonna actually already have the Diacom toolkit uh, installed actually and if you don't have it installed already I will link to a video that uh, talks about how to install your Diacom toolkit so let's go to I already have it installed and just for one minute I'm gonna actually go into the, the man directory the manual directory and you'll see that uh, there's a bunch of uh, um, these are actually manuals for each utility from the Diacom toolkit so if we actually come and look for the DCM dump each of these uh, manual uh, files gives you a description of the utility that you that that uh so you can actually come to this directory take a look at that it gives you a good uh detailed description so so you have that for for reference so now if we want to actually come here and what i have now i already have a folder here that's called diacom dump underscore test which already has some diacom files in it some some dcm files and I also already have a directory here for a file that but um the diacom files that are in here we're going to be using these for today's test so what i'm going to do is come back to a diacom toolkit folder go in the bin directory which is where all of the executable applications are and i'm going to just open up command prompt change directory we're going to go to I just copied and paste that location and we're going to uh, paste it here and we're going to go directly to that same location here of where the executables are and so now we're going to just run our Diacom dump test so we're going to do DC dump DCM dump and if you wanted to also display the what parameters and um, options you have for DCM dump or application in the Diacom toolkit you can do dash do space dash H all right and it gives you all of your options parameters that you have available for you now this one here this for the uh, Diacom dump you just have one parameter It's the input file or the directory that's going to be used in our example we already have our directory icon dump test and we have our file so for right now we're just going to start off just doing one single diacom file so let's do this here let's go to our bin directory Okay, 
and I'm gonna do DCM dump. And so we just need the input directory, right? The parameter is just the, gonna be the input directory. So the, either the file or the directory. So let's come back to our test here. We'll copy that location. We'll put it in quotations. And we will just pick one of these DICOM files. Doesn't matter which one. We just pick one. Um, and then what we also want to do is we want to we output because this is going to dump all of the uh, DICOM uh, tags and contents into a, it's either going to right here, if we do it like this, it's going to dump it into the screen, into command, but we want to just send it to a file, right? So we want to just do symbol here and we're going to send that output to this file, DCM dump text file so you see you don't test All right and we want to send it to the log file here. Okay, so we have our we have our um, input file. We have our we're gonna output it to this log file here, and that should be it. So we go. Okay, so now let's check the contents. You see, it was just last updated just now, and if we open it up with Notepad plus plus, you can you can. Uh, it displays the actual contents of the uh, of this DICOM file and you can look at certain information you know it has a lot of this different uh, DICOM tags such as the transfer syntax UID you have the you have the source source application AE title here you have the uh, let's see you know SOP class UID, SOP instance UID, and this is how you can just review. It's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. You can look at the DICOM tags and and what each, what the value is, the DICOM tag, um, the value, and the dis and the the description of what it is or the, what the actual name the, the name of the DICOM tag is. So you you can actually take a look at that, and so you'll see. Now, if we wanted to actually just view if you wanted to view all of the DICOM images the di the contents from all of the DICOM files in this directory we would just come back to our command prompt it's clear screen and of course we wouldn't specify one file we would just do the entire directory Okay, dump that to a file. And now if we come back and look at it, the contents. Okay, so if a file scan directories is not set, ignoring, so we need to add the option scan directories. So if we come back here, so we need to add the, the option scan directory so let's come back sp for scan directory oh excuse me scan directory so now if we take a look at it so now you'll see that the file is listed it has listed all of the actual displayed all of the uh, DICOM contents for all of the files in that directory, all of the DICOM files, you'll see. And so if you were looking for something in particular, you know, you could just do a search. You 
can just do control F for search, like patient ID. And then you can just find certain tags and see what the actual the actual value is. The the, the actual DICOM tag itself and you can just do a search and find the information that you need to see what um, to find out certain DICOM tag values or if something is actually being sent over if it's not being sent over what type of for, um, format is it coming in and you can be and, and that's helpful for um, these types of uh, troubleshooting scenarios so that's just a quick overview of DCM dump and how it's useful, what it can be used for, how it's used. Uh, I think that's that's uh, that's going to be it for this this quick uh, quick video tutorial. Now, so if um, if you found this video helpful, there's actually other videos I have on this channel here where you can actually look at in, in regards to uh, the the DICOM, the uh, DICOM toolkit packs diacom even a little bit of information on hl7 and so you just take a look at the site and if you're interested in videos like this and others just take a look so until next time my name is terrell paulie take care